，我叫陈香恒，我叫林嘉欣，我叫柯浩哲，我叫黄雨佳，我叫刘苏伟，我叫焦若英，我叫邓同新，我叫张新文，我叫周新阳，我叫李天奇，我叫王达伟，我叫王奕晨。Are usually composed of two or three characters. The first character indicates our patrilineal inheritance, and the rest are chosen by our parents or family members. Since one single Chinese character has multiple meanings, a lot of our names are complex and filled with layers of significance. Our names are full of the blessings and wishes that our parents and family members gave us when we were born. As an international student. I hope people can learn the history and culture behind our Chinese character and our names. And I'm proud of my name and my Chinese identity. My name is taken from one of the four great classical novels in Chinese literature called *The Dream of Red Mansion*. Xiang, as in Xiao Xiang, Heng, as in Heng Wu, these are the surnames of the two main female figures in the novel, Lin Daiyu and Xue Baochai. My parents hope that I can grow to become a talented woman with a beautiful heart, just like both of them. Most importantly, they want me to take a little bit of both from the complementary and sometimes even opposite characters of these two women. For example, being idealistic while sophisticated, compassionate and sensitive while not too sentimental, and most importantly, have modesty but at the same time always have pride in who I am. In Chinese, the first character of my name Jia means joyful, auspicious, and happy. The left side of my second character Xin means sun. That's why my second character means sunrise or the first blink of sunlight in the morning. My name is given by my parents, and it represents their hope and blessing for me. Basically, my parents wish me luck and want me to become a kind of person that can bring light to the people around me. The first character of my name Hao comes from the Chinese idiom Hao Yue Dang Feng, which means the white moon in the sky. This is my parents' wish for me to be pure and righteous. The second character of my name, Zhe, is the phonogram of the Chinese word for philosophy, which entails knowledge and wisdom. The shape of it is a mirror image of two soldiers putting down their weapons on a pedestal. The combination of its shape and meaning signifies the essence of Chinese philosophy. Which is finding balance between two opposites. The first character of my name Yu has multiple meanings. First, it means wings. My parents wanted to bless me with a big pair of wings so that I could fly anywhere I want and achieve whatever I set my heart to. Second, it means to be a good friend. Third, it is a musical note in ancient China. My parents wanted me to be musical and artistic. Last, the logographical character could be broken into two separate parts, which means to study. My parents wanted me to always stay curious and be eager to learn. The second character of my name, Jia, was chosen by my dad after he saw me smile for the first time. It simply means everything that is good. My maternal grandma named me Su Wei, actually based on traditional Chinese characters. Su involves three parts: the top radical literally means grass, the bottom left means fish, and the bottom right means rice plant. A full meal is hidden in this one single character. Indicating I will have a prosperous life. Wei is a type of jade that ancient people will wear as an accessory to get good fortune. My family simply wishes me a good luck in my life. You can call me Liu Su Wei in Mandarin Chinese, or Liu Su Wei in Shanghainese, or Lao Su Wei in Cantonese. These are all the dialects or Chinese languages that I grew up with. Now my last name has a meaning of burning fire. Many Chinese people, parents, when they give names to their children, they like to think about the balance between five elements, which are gold, wood,、uh, fire, water, and earth. So because my last name contains a lot of fire element already, so just in case that I will be a hot-tempered girl, they want to balance and cool off the fire a little bit. That's how my first name came off. Ruo Yin. Ruo means as if. Uh, Yin means shadow, so shadow can kind of cool off the fire. And I used used to ask my parents, why didn't you give me the names of you know something like water directly that can cool off the fire? But 
it's also because of the balance between five elements. You cannot just definitely, absolutely extinguish the fire. That wouldn't be a good sign as well. So that's how my name, Ruo Yin, came off. The two characters in my first name have a collective meaning when they're put together. My parents came up with this name for me actually quite some time before I was born. For a long time, I really didn't like my name because I thought it was too bland and didn't really have as much meaning and depth to it compared to the names of the kids I met at school had. But this simplicity and directness was specifically why my parents chose this name for me. They wanted me to be able to always have this really simple, direct, straightforward, and genuine attitude as I journey through life. And most importantly, to always maintain a child's heart. The story behind my name is quite interesting. After I was born, my parents visited one of their friends who is a fortune teller and asked for his advice on what kind of name would bring me good fortune based on my birthday. The fortune teller said that the second character of my full name must have 20 strikes, while the third character must have four strikes. So my parents chose Xin as my second character, also meaning good and elegant smell. Symbolically, it can also indicate harmonious and warm relationship. And they chose Wen as the third character. It has exactly four strikes and conveys the hope for me to be a gentle, cultured, and knowledgeable person. After I came to the States, I use my English name Coco most of the time because it is easy to remember and will avoid any long explanation on how to pronounce my Chinese name. However, I'm really proud of my Chinese name Xinwen. It represents and bears my memory and time spent in my home country and culture and also serves as a very important part of my identity. In Mandarin, Xin means the heart, Yao means sound. My mom gave me this name because I'm sound in her heart. My last name Li is one of the most common family names in China. And then my first name, Tianxi, is made up of two words, Tian and Qi. The word Tian means the sky, and the word Qi means a very beautiful jewel. So together, Tianxi means a very beautiful jewel in the sky. And this is the story of my name. I come from a very big family, um, and then there is this tradition that everyone the same generation shares one character in their name and because my generation is almost all male they chose a very masculine word gong um, it is part of the constellation big dipper and it is a very manly word so when they found out that i am a girl um, my grandfather took out the dictionary and he browsed through the dictionary and found the word qi, which means a very pretty jewel, and he thought that that was a very pretty or feminine word for me, and then that's how I got my name. My family name is Wang. My given name is Da Wei. Da means uh, open-minded. It means someone who is able to share what he has with others. And Wei means uh, to be content with oneself. When I first came to America for boarding school uh, nine years ago, I uh, called myself uh, uh, David, which is the Americanized version of my name, uh, Dao Wei, um, because I thought people can pronounce it better. But then after a while, I realized that, wow, that's actually not who I am. I have to call myself by my real name. So since I came to college and I started to call myself Dao Wei, and I'm very happy that I did that. I have the same last name Wang as my father. The first character in my given name, Yi, is a transition word which literally means also. The second character in my given name, Chen, has the same pronunciation as my mother's last name. Therefore, my parents connected their last names in my name. By doing this, they wanted to show that I'm the love of both of them. The second character in my given name, Chen, also has multiple meanings. First, it means celestial bodies in the universe. My parents wanted me to shine like stars, and they also hoped me to keep curious about the word and explore it as if I was traveling across a vast and fascinating universe. Second, Chen also means kind-hearted in ancient Chinese poetry, Shi Jing. Therefore, my parents wished me to be a kind-hearted person. Lastly, Chen also means dragon, which is my Chinese zodiac. My name is Chen Xiangheng. My name is Lin Jiaxin. My name is Ke Haozhe. 
My name is Wang Yujia. My name is Liu Su Wei. My name is Ro Yingjiao. My name is Deng Tongxin. My name is Zhang Xinwen. My name is Xin Yang Zhou. My name is Li Tianxi. My name is Wang Dawei. My name is Wang Yichen. <laughs>